everyone in this video it's another getting back to basics video we're going to be looking at the various ways that you can share including sharing files to an external drive that's attached to your iPad. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, I have open here Procreate on one half of my uh, screen here and on the other side, my files, because I, I just wanted to show you um, the external, uh, having an external drive, what that looks like if you've connected one. So I have an external drive here and it's a, it's a big one, a five terabyte one, and it needs to be powered when I have it plugged into my iPad here. And so I use this little uh, dongle that I think is actually for a camera. I mean, it's got the little camera icon there. So the external drive itself is plugged into the camera portion and then I need to power it. So this is actually uh, connected to uh, a power source. It's plugged into the wall. Let's talk about the other parts of sharing. There are a couple of different things to think about. What it is you're sharing, what you intend to do with the sharing. Do you want to print or do you want to share with a friend? and also how you share when it comes to the different elements inside of Procreate. We're just looking at Procreate now, and one of the first things that I might want to share with somebody is a brush. So we're going to go over to the brush library here, and I have open a personal set, and here I have uh, one of my, um, I have the solid portion stamp of my Pinecone and Pencil logo, Pinecone. <laughs> And let's say I want to share that. I just simply select and then slide gently over to the left and I can tap share. And then this takes me to um, the dialogue uh, produced by the iPad itself. And I have a couple different options here. I can airdrop this to a friend if they have a, a, a you know, an iOS or Apple device as well, like a phone or another iPad or something like that, or a Mac, because I actually, I do this a lot for myself. I send things over to my Mac. So this is probably how you'd share with a friend, unless you decided that you needed to, they're not local and you need to put it on the cloud somewhere. So in that case, you would just go to save to files. And under save to files, you'll have the iCloud drive and your iPad. And if I still had the external drive, you would see the external drive uh, here as well. And any other cloud services, like if you have Dropbox or Google or something like that, they would show up here um, depending on if you set them up. So, okay, then you would just tap save. We're not going to do that right now. We're just going to go ahead and cancel out. So that's a brush and palettes kind of work pretty much the same. So let's say you wanted to share a palette with a friend. Um, you might be in one of these other views and that's so fine. Just go ahead and go to the little palettes with the, oops, with the icon, um, icon, the yeah, icon, icon, well, that's very meta. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and tap that and then just choose the palette that you want to share. And then you'll tap the little three dots that are associated with that particular palette. And then you will get the little drop down and you can tap share from there. And once again, it looks very similar to the brushes in terms of what options are available to you. There's a couple different ways to share your canvas or your artwork here. And there are, uh, there are sort of two different approaches. One is thinking about it as, you know, saving it, sorry, sharing it as the image itself. And another is to share the entire set of layers that are the project itself, the Procreate file. So what you'll do is you'll come over to the wrench here. This is one of the ways. There's another way and I'll show you in a second. You'll come up to the wrench and you'll tap share and then you can share any of these. Now you'll notice that we have some repeats in here and I know that they say share layers down here and we have some actual layered files up here. It's just all about helping you sort of achieve what it is that you're trying to accomplish. So okay we're here and we want to save a PNG. Let's do that. Or we might want to share it with a friend. So if we want to share it with a friend, again, there's the airdrop option and there's also the folder option. But let's say you just want to save it to your camera roll. Well, you can do that. It's a PNG and so it's a, it's a, it's a file type that the camera roll will accept. So there's a little icon now here for saving to saving the image to your camera roll. And let's say you just want to print this. Well, You've got this option right here. Um, sharing can mean lots of different things for Procreate, but you have the little printer icon right there. And there's a variety of others. You might be able to save, especially a PNG, you might be able to save it to a couple different places, including Pinterest. So just depending on how you have your iPad set up, you'll have these different options and they may differ from what I have here. So, okay, so the things we care about, AirDrop, File, Printer, and camera roll. Now let's talk about the Procreate file. That's actually a layered file. It's just like the Photoshop file, the PSD here, and even a PDF and a TIFF. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about Procreate. So let's say we want to save our Procreate file. This takes a little bit longer in the export because there's a lot of data here that it's crunching through to prepare for exporting. 
Um, but you might just be exporting to the printer. You know, you might be doing that. Um, but probably not. You probably would have exported a JPEG or something like that to the printer. So you're probably going to save to the file. Okay. Um, once again, all of your options would show up here for whatever cloud services you're using and had connected. Or if you had an external drive, it would show up here. And of course, your iPad will show up here. So let's cancel. You also have the AirDrop option. So if you wanted to share with a friend who had um, a, a Mac, an iPad, or uh, a phone, you could do that. And, and then again, all of your other potential options here. Okay. So again, we're not going to do that. So those are a couple ways inside of your artwork, your project that you're working on that you can share things. So the, the last place we're going to go is the gallery here. And if you select, select, again, very meta, um, you can uh, select the artwork here and then you can share at that point. And this will let you share as a Procreate file or if you want to do it as a layered PSD, you totally can. That way you can share with a friend who might be using, you know, like a Photoshop or something like that. Um, but again, there's a variety of different options there. And let's say we select, let's select Procreate this time. Again, taking a while to uh, crunch that data so it can export or export. <laughs> Language is hard sometimes. All right, again, you can share with a friend. You've got your folder options. You have your printing options and some other options as well. Um, so that is really kind of what sharing is about for Procreate in a nutshell. Thanks so much for watching and I hope your day is amazing.